Rock DIY or do it you. So if you get this well water whole house system, this is what it includes. But what it doesn't include, well, it includes that manual, that manual, that manual, and then this printout. None of these cover the actual installation. So basically you have to rely on the pictures and the manuals to figure out how to set everything up. If you've done this or plan on doing this, you either know that there's no real instructions included on how to install this. It's just basic information that's included in the booklets. So it's a good idea to have a good layout on how you want your system to be when you complete it. Unfortunately, we don't have a large flat wall that we can run everything along. So ours had to be installed the way that it is. So from the well water pressure tank over to the pre-filter to the salt tree water conditioner to the Rhino whole house water filtration and then over to the post filter and then the UV filter into the house and in this case this well water pressure tank used to be sitting over here, but I had to basically redo the PVC pipes and the copper pipe to bring them closer to the tank and then also bring it in towards the tank just to decrease its footprint. And everything runs along here and it's all up underneath a landing for our stairs. I had to do it this way because of not being able to get it all along one wall, but moving the pressure tank allowed me to get the pre-filter in and then also fit both the salt-free water conditioner and the Rhino whole house filter in between these boards that are up here supporting the landing. So this gives me just enough space to get it in there. You definitely need to know if you take it upon yourself to install this system because you won't read anything in any of the booklets or handouts about it. Is that for one, this bracket for the pre-filter at maximum reach to the wall is about one and three quarters to two inches from the wall based on where these two tanks sit against the wall. So these are flat against the wall, well, up against the wall. So with this mac, with this bracket at maximum extension, it's going to be between one and three quarters and two inches from the wall. So if you had these all on the same wall, you would have the same problem with the post filter and the UV filter. In my case, I have them on a different wall. But regardless, based on the brackets that are for the UV filter, they're set. There's no adjusting them. So based on how this is installed on the wall, you will have to have some space for your post filter to sit off the wall so that it's in line with the UV filter. So in my case, based on where these brackets are, I had to add a three quarter thick piece of wood and in this case it's four inches wide how long it is uh, at a minimum it's got to be about two and a half but you can make it as long as you want so again just like the pre-filter 
at maximum extension at, in, the, in this case, it turned out to be three quarters from the wall. Don't be led to believe that just because of all these connections here that are gray, Schedule 80, PVC pipe, that the rest of the system needs to also be Schedule 80, PVC pipe. They probably made this Schedule 80 because of the weight of these two tanks specifically, but the system as a whole is only rated to 100 PSI in gray Schedule 80 PVC is rated to 630 PSI and white PVC is rated to 450 PSI. So there's no need to go out and purchase a bunch of Schedule 80 when you don't need to. You can see here that these tanks are sitting flat on the floor, but the tanks are not level it's actually this tank right here which is the uh, salt free water conditioner they put these black caps on the bottom i put a level up at the very top to check for level and this one was definitely not level but when i attempted to move this cap on the bottom it doesn't even budge so i don't know if they heat them up and then put them on and they basically become impossible to move, but I need to be able to adjust it at some point so that it's flat because it's probably not helping with all these connections that it's canted. But the good thing is, is that I can release these uh, slip unions and pull that tank out and attempt to adjust it so that it is flat. through all these connections. There were only two small leaks after I turned the system off, which is a good thing, but um, I mean, you gotta expect it when you make that many connections, there's probably gonna be a leak somewhere. But I had two, one, was right here which is a one inch male threaded connector with a three-quarter threaded female on this side and it was dripping from right here but I replaced this white portion right here uh, because the one that came with the kit was the one that was leaking and then had one more leak and it was right here but all I had to do was shut the water off and drain drain it and take the slip union off well loosen it and then after I loosened it I just tighten this down and the drip went away but now the system is completely leak free after you get your UV filter or your whole system set up and you plug your UV filter in, and this is the power control box for it. When you first plug it in, it'll say 375 on it. If for some reason you need to reset, you basically hold it for 10 seconds and then it'll count down uh, RST1, RST2, RST3, and then it will go to 375. Here's one of the problems with it. If you lose power, this will go back to 375. So it's good to make sure you 
have a label or write it down somewhere when you actually installed it because our power did go out and it went right back to 375 so this power box does not have a hub or hold up battery that retains the days and its memory so power goes out it's going back to 375 please like comment or subscribe thanks again